Hey, it's Vampire Logan here. I am just looking at uh, my own website, as I sometimes do. Um, just wanted to show a few uh, websites, including my own, uh, but some other ones that uh, like YouTube channels and stuff that I'm into. Um, giving the shout outs to first myself and then some other people, to be fair. Um, so this is my main uh, YouTube channel. I gotta get rid of this banner and I still don't know how where this comes from and why it's like that. But it was supposed to update how many subs I had and like show some goals along the way, but it broken and I don't remember how I got it in there. So I have to fix this channel somewhat. But this is gonna be my um main role-playing game channel where I post our Curse of Strad campaign. I've uh, posted our um, Shattered campaign. Uh, we got a short little Red Vampire inside campaign. Um, I have uh, a bunch of Overwatch stuff from, from before, but I've moved that stuff away now. Um, Wild by the Witchlight, uh, the first campaign with uh, Red Rogue and her friends. And that one is um, kind of supposed to be on Wednesdays, but is intermittent. Um, the other ones, uh, so there's a bunch of Overwatch content in here, which I'm just fading out slowly. Uh, Avatar Legends uh, role-playing game. We did a, a Korra era a noir detective campaign, and that one was kind of fun, um, but we never finished it. We got to chapter two and then kind of petered off, um, kind of ran out of steam on that one. Uh, Shattered was run by DM Jesse, and uh, Tales from the Plague Knight is sort of a combo of the lead up to him running the, can the Shattered campaign. We did a bunch of sort of two to three episode one shots, um, uh, one of which that I ran turned into the Rev Rev Red Vampire Inn campaign, um, which we just kind of play whenever the, all of the group doesn't show up. And uh, so these ones are like just little vignette kind of style adventures um, with the idea from Jesse about it being kind of like the... So the Plague Knight is kind of like the Crypt Keeper, so Tales from the Crypt. Um, so they're sort of somewhat horror-themed, and uh, they have some kind of twist in them. Most of them. And then more Avatar Legends Noir, the first chapter. Got a bunch of other things. Oh, here was a one-time thing I did, which I'd like to do again sometime, is uh, I played D&D uh, &D with chat watching. And it was kind of cool. Uh, we used um, Tailspire, which I really like. And um, it, it was... It was just like chat would just decide what this character does. We made him up from scratch. Um, just did a quick character build. Um, his name was Death Row. And he was kind of a violent um, rogue type character. Um, and then there's a few solo campaigns down here that we did uh, while I was running my my um, homebrew campaign. So Thordan is the name of my world, Thordan. Uh, we had Adventures of Roto Hammer, which was Jesse's character. And then we had Sega of Shadowclaw, which was Wazubi's character. And I have some Fun Day Monday stuff. What else I got here? Um, the old Auspex was my sort of what I'm doing now. It's kind of an attempt to do sort of a talk uh, kind of set of things. Um, but it didn't really... Nobody knew what the title meant, and, and it just didn't take off. Um... I don't even think any of those got many views, but uh, I'm going to just put up titles, uh, videos with just titles. Um, like, uh, oh, I don't have any in my D&D channel yet. That's my other one. So, yeah, then I did, um, I think there was another solo campaign somewhere. Maybe not. So the first campaign I ran D&D uh, &D on... Uh, was Thordan. Um, uh, it was going to be, an, I was going to do multiple arcs of these. I kind of lost that a little bit as well. And this was the Vengeance arc. 
So chapter one was Path of Vengeance, and it was a lead up of this party going to um, uh, the city of Hills Edge, uh, and then doing some like helping the people outside of the city. And then chapter two was Price of Vengeance, which was a um, continuation of that, them getting inside the city, dealing with the politics, and then dealing with a uh, double attack on the city from some barbarians from the north with demonic influence and some hobgoblins uh, from a hobgoblin empire uh, to the south. And uh, these two forces kind of tried to take over the city. Um, the players managed to fight or um, make enough alliances to, to fight off the ones that it made sense to do and then head off to um, destroy the um, demonic influenced uh, barbarians. And that was kind of the backstory of one of the characters was he was from the north and this tribe of barbarians had destroyed his family and caused lots of damage up there. And they were coming down into the uh, more civilized lands to do the same. And uh, that was kind of fun. Um, and we were going to do another one continuing this story. Um, not sure if that'll still happen, but uh, with our new group, it's kind of a... Um, Little more lighthearted uh, group and this was kind of a kind of grim story uh, with some humorous moments um, another thing I've done here is oh I have overwatch rants that's been also moved over to my Overwatch channel um, I did a bunch of other game playthroughs and um, uh, this one was a whole playthrough of a, of a XCOM 2 campaign um, this was technically my second playthrough, but the only one I posted online. Uh, I do want to get back to that and maybe do some uh, some more uh, XCOM 2, but with the expansions and stuff. So I'll probably do another one of those. Um, more time I played a little bit. And I did a bunch of Stardew Valley co-op with my wife. And uh, we haven't got back to that, so I might get around to that later too. I'm just looking through my channel to kind of see what kind of stuff I could bring back and what's what's uh, kind of fun. Um, 